My name is Mallory Nolte. I am a junior in college and I had a pretty good life a few months ago. I was doing well in my classes, playing tennis for my school, and traveling a lot. I also had a steady source of income from my part-time job at the container store. Ever since I got my first job, I realized that everyone spends their money differently. My mom spends her money differently than my college friends, and my college friends spend their money differently than me. I'm Pam Nolte. I am what they call an instructional coach. I'm Cynthia Papettis and I'm a senior from the University of Delaware. I work with uh, students and teachers across all grades. I am currently studying elementary teacher education. I consider myself financially stable because I am salary. Technically I work 10 months of the year, but I am paid for 12 months. I would find myself as financially stable because I have a job while I'm on campus, which pretty much satisfies my needs that I need outside of tuition and food and school. I do have a car on campus. The parking pass cost me about $500 for the whole year, and then every week I spend about $35 on gas um, because I am student teaching, so I have to go to and from the school five days a week. I typically spend, I would say, $300 a week, maybe less, on groceries. That would include going out, um, if I go out after work with friends. For groceries and my spending on food, I do have a meal plan on campus, and that's so that I can get unlimited meals throughout the week. Um, but outside of that, I maybe spend $20 a week um, to go out with friends. I try to limit to one time a week going out. I roughly spend $200 a week on social events or fun or activities. That would include things like going to the movies or going out to the mall. If I go to the beach, my biggest hobby is running. I run almost every other day and I do enter into races. If I do a 5K somewhere, that might be 20 or $35, depending right around there. It's free to run after you pay for your shoes, but it is not free to race or to participate in races. So if I did not race, it would be completely free. My recreational spending is probably gonna be around 20 to $30 a week, depending on the activity. Once a week, I do try to go out and do something fun, whether it's ice skating or going to the movies. Um, and there are a lot of cheap options on campus, so I usually try to limit to below $30. I have a lot of unnecessary expenses, unfortunately. I enjoy um, shopping, and I do enjoy purchasing things. I love decorating my home, so I spend money at stores like Marshalls or Kirkland's where I purchase things that I really probably do not need. Four times a year I purchase a, a box of clothing, which is definitely something I do not need, but I enjoy doing. A lot of extracurricular things, so if I were to pay for a gym membership or if I were to pay for a yoga membership, those wouldn't be very necessary and I could probably cut back on those for spending. I change my spending habits when I have a big purchase coming and I know that it's coming. My husband and I were thinking about taking a cruise. In the discussion of that, I would think twice before buying something. If I am low on cash or trying to save, I definitely just choose to not go out um, for food. I kind of just stick with my meal plan. Um, and then activities. If I don't have to go see a movie that's in theaters right now, I'll choose an alternative at home. When I spend my money, I make sure that I'm spending it on something that has a very specific purpose. I just make sure, especially because I do have a job on campus, I try to put more of my money into my savings than I do into what I'm spending. Um, and this is good because then I can help build up on interest with my savings and use it towards bigger things that I want to do in the future than minimal things that I'll probably forget about in the future. When I was in college, which was a very long time ago, I opened a credit card. I, of course, spent money in, on my credit card. If I were to go back, I would not have carried a balance on my credit card. So I think the one thing I might change um, is going back to that point where I was putting things on a credit card when I was super young and in college, and I probably uh, would not have done that. Over time, I realized that I'm a lot happier when I save my money and spend it on things that I really want. As I was growing up, and I mean growing up as in 15, 16, now 21, I stopped buying materialistic things and started saving up for bigger purchases and experiences. That was probably the best choice that I have ever made. I used to buy all of this clothing, shoes, makeup, jewelry, just all this stuff that I didn't need, and I realized that it was a huge waste of my money. I really started working on my savings when I got into college. Now my parents do help me with tuition and room and board and all of that kind of stuff, but I do have to pay for my own food, my gas, and anything else that I need. Things such as room decorations and fancy clothing and going out to eat every day were just not that important to me. 
I got a job as a volleyball coach and although I didn't make a lot of money, I really enjoyed it and I got to go to a ton of cool places. Because of this, I was able to support myself financially and not have to ask my parents for money. By the end of my sophomore year, I saved up for a flight and I actually got an internship in Texas, so I flew there for the summer. I was able to work at a job that I love while also meeting new people and exploring a new place. Experiencing this was a lot more important to me than, I don't know, buying a $5 coffee every day. Last August, I decided to stop coaching and instead get a part-time job at the container store. It definitely was not as fun as coaching, but I did make a lot more money. I wanted to save up for my next trip and this job made it a lot easier to do so. I was soon able to purchase a ticket to Barcelona and spend a week there with one of my friends. It was definitely a lot more expensive than my flight to Texas, so I had to work really hard to save that money, and then once I spent that money, I had to work really hard to make that money back. Besides trips, I also like saving money for bigger purchases. I recently was able to buy a drone that I really wanted, and saving all of that money for that purchase was definitely worth it. I don't have any regrets on having to say no to go to a fancy dinner or finding a really cute dress that was $50 and having to put it back on the rack. I knew what I wanted and I worked to get it. This March, my life got turned upside down. The spread of COVID-19, aka the coronavirus, took over the world and halted many people's lives. Personally, I was affected mentally, physically, and financially. My tennis season got cut short, my classes moved online, and I had to move back to my parents' house. I also lost my job. I lasted for about a week until I got really sad about the situation. I was sad about my junior year ending, my tennis season ending, and having to say goodbye to my seniors that I would not see for a very long time. I was sad that I just couldn't go out to the store and look around like I love to do. I was sad that I lost my job that I worked really hard to get. I was so used to being busy and productive all of the time. I was used to being on my own and now I didn't really know what to do. One day, I believe it was a Monday, I don't know, but I was sitting on the couch and I was insanely bored. I was scrolling through the same social medias on my phone, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, nothing new, nothing exciting. I couldn't think of anything to do at all. So I did something that I haven't done in a while. I looked up online. 100 things to do when you're bored at home. I started going through the list. It just had basics such as clean your room, go for a walk, hit the gym, do some yoga, just stuff like that. Then something clicked. I realized that I may not be making money anymore, but I'm also not spending money anymore. So I'm kind of just at a standstill. My parents buy all of the food since I'm back home. So I save money on groceries. I'm not going anywhere, so I'm saving money on gas. I can't hang out with any of my friends, so I'm saving money on nights out. Instead, I've been finding a lot of free things to do around my house. I've been really getting back into reading, starting off with all of the books that I find randomly in my parents' house. I've been going on runs and bike rides outside, I've been playing volleyball and doing yoga and just kind of switching up my workout routine. I've also been flying my drone and working on videos. All of these things that I've been doing cost no money at all, and they keep me occupied. They keep me very happy. The virus has changed the lives of millions, but if there's one thing that it taught me, it's that you have to be able to financially adapt to any situation. If the world ever gets out of this crazy pandemic, I can use the skills that I've learned during this pandemic to help budget my money even better.